All right, let's bake a cake for my wife's 32nd birthday. What the heck, dude? Oh, are you hungry? All right, you're gonna take it now. Thank you. For the 300th time, good night, and I love you. All right, we got the Moist Supreme. So we need a cup of water, half cup of oil, and three eggs. Mix in bowl, dude. Cup of water, third, half cup of oil, gross. Now, why do we have so much chicken bone broth? Canola oil. Minging. All right, looks like we're going with the avocado oil. So you're gonna find out quite a lot about me in this video, actually, when it comes to cooking, baking. <laughs> and what you'll find out is that I'm not a very good baker. Oven on. All right, oven set to temperature, coat pan. Now nah, we're gonna mix first. Uh, first of all, red velvet is not really a type of cake that you'd find in England. That's definitely more of an American thing, or at least a non-UK thing. All right, first thing you're gonna learn about me, I'm not really into baking or cooking. My mum and sister love it. Neither wife, my wife nor I are into baking. Way more shell than I expected. We're off to a good start. I guess I should stop being so cocky. I used to work at a, um, like a bar, not a bar restaurant, a pub in England when I was like 17, 16, 15, 16. And I had to make mayonnaise as one of my duties which meant I was cracking eggs like a mother. Now we don't like, we're so not into baking that we don't even have the stuff needed for baking. So when we do, we just do it all by hand. So I'll just add the water in slowly. Yeah, so the amount of eggs that went into that mayonnaise was just disgusting. I, that's probably one of the reasons I don't like mayonnaise. Yeah, so my mom and sister just love baking. That's also kind of like, you know, the love language thing. I'll do two thirds cup for now. Like when it comes to presents, uh, to them, it's a much more thoughtful present if it's made versus bought. And like, it's funny as a, like a social media thing, <laughs> like someone's wedding registry, when it's like, oh, we would love the things, I think, wasn't it a scene in the office? Is it, we'd love the stuff on our registry. And it's like, oh, are you accepting other gifts? Like a knitted scarf or something. It's like, um, yeah, knitted scarf would be nice. When actually you just want the stuff that's on the registry. But, oh gosh, how deep does this go? This actually gets quite a, a little bit deeper for me. My sister and I both worked ski seasons at the same time, which means it's essentially, you just work in like, let's say the French Alps in a chalet, so like a lodge, and you, depending on the type of situation you're in, you just cook for your guests. So like I worked with two other people, <laughs> one of the points, in a chalet with like 20 guests at a time. Whereas my sister worked on her own in a chalet with like a small family at a time. So she had a lot more responsibility and she was far better. She worked for a, a five-star company and I worked for what was like a, a three-star company. <laughs> like my sister was always the one that had the, the better gigs growing up. She was the one that was a lot more screwed on. That looks bloody gorgeous actually. That's some thick vampire blood. I guess I'll add the other third cup. So I, I mean, I've been diagnosed with ADHD, but I don't like to use it as something to define me. And I don't really care if it's called ADHD or what. But I saw this video of someone talking about ADHD the other day. And she was explaining how, oh, I think it was a guy actually, that the emotion, he doesn't really feel any emotion unless he takes the time to think about it. Where's my cake tin? All right, I'm not messing about with greasing it. So we're gonna go parchment paper. This is something I learned the other day. So you take your parchment paper that's parched. You give it a drink. And now you have parchment paper that can be molded. Isn't that, how have I never known about that? So our lives at the moment are just are pretty chaotic because any time that I'm not spent working, I'm like hanging out with Shay and the kids and helping out, I guess at most, like most of the time at the moment, it is spent helping out, like trying to have fun with the kids, but they're like Ruger, the two-year-old is nuts. <laughs> and then our newest child is colicky at the moment, which means that is just extremely fussy, like gassy, can't be put down and he's up every two hours. And then our two-year-old isn't sleeping particularly well. So you call it, was it burning, 
burning the candle at both ends. But I feel like something like making a cake for my wife. It's not going to be a particularly fancy one, but just enough that says I care, <laughs> you know? The decorations are going to be nice. I'm quite looking forward to, to doing those. But yeah, back to my sister and my mum. It's funny how different we are in that sense, like how much they love doing the baking and stuff and how much I just don't really care for it. So my wife's looking after Covey at the moment, so the two month old. And in my head, to me, it's far more valuable if I were up there helping out with Covey versus baking a cake that she will enjoy tomorrow or the day after when it's her birthday. But I know that she will actually really enjoy this as much as she knows I would also well, like she would enjoy me helping up there. How long are we sticking this bugger in for? Bake at 350, I've turned it to 375. The pan size, oh, flipping hell. Doesn't say, so I'm just gonna have to keep testing it. I guess we'll start with 25 minutes. Screw it, it's going in. I think what I'm trying to get at there is that I think it's a higher priority to dedicate my time to that person as opposed to dedicating my time to doing something nice like baking a cake. And like, whether you think that's right or wrong, that's just like how my mind works. And obviously that then depends on the person who's receiving that. But I also just thought, I'm not, I shouldn't direct decorate this for another day or two. I know it's not good to have the cake done, but I have to, cause we're going out. So I'll do the decorating part in a day or two. <laughs> Sorry if you were, hoping for that, but it's not gonna be anything special. It's gonna be whipped cream cheese frosting, Kinder Bueno in the shape of 32, and then uh, just some gross message that I'm gonna write in pink. <laughs> Nothing much. Also, I'm like far too dead to be doing it tonight. And I can hear the baby going nuts, so I'm gonna help.